Hi, welcome to a and Jukebox Repair, your one-stop source for road jukebox repair service and replacement parts. My name is Bruce Wentworth and I'll be your instructor today. Today's le session is going to be on troubleshooting error codes, error codes 37, 38, and 39. And this is for road record jukeboxes models R89 to R94. But the process we're going to do to correct this can be used on all the row record jukeboxes for models R84 to R94. That's 11 years. Now I've been getting a lot of calls, I mean emails basically, not calls, emails mostly from customers all around the world, whether you're in Australia, England, in Italy, or France, or Germany. These error codes are starting to give people a lot of problems. And what's happening is, 50% of the time, the problem's not in the circuit boards, it's not in the power supply, it's in the harness. It's in the harness that goes from the mech control board up to the central control computer. And this is the harness we're talking about. Now, what's causing the problems with this harness? Well, what happens is, this, this harness communicates with the mech control board, which tells the motors to start or stop. And how, they, and how they determine that is when the micro switches releases the, the signal to go to the motors and the motors activate. Now there's been a hesitation in, these, in causing this signal to go through. And what's causing it is the oxidized contacts, the pins within the plugs. The pins within the plugs. Now these, these pins are communicating from the computer to the mech board going from like 8 volts or 28 volts to zero. So they're like activating switches within themselves through transistors on the central control computer. So, you step back now. So 50% of the time, 50% of the time, your problem is not in your circuit boards, it's in the harness. Now the process we're gonna go through right now is how to, how to fix the harness, how to, how to correct the problem, how to eliminate the problem. And the problem is being caused by oxidization, okay? Jukeboxes that have been sitting for a while, not being used. Um, Jukeboxes are in damp, um, damp areas like basements. Um, mainly from just be sitting there and not getting used. And don't forget, these jukeboxes are now like 30 years old. And, you know, we want to keep these jukeboxes working for at least another 30, 40, 50 years. So in order to do that, you got to understand how do we, how do we fix them? And again, errors 37, 38, and 39. And we're going to talk about the errors just for a second. If you go to your service manual and look at your troubleshooting chart, it's going to say that transfer starts, okay, um, and runs continuously. That's what it says for those error codes, okay? Transfer starts and runs continuously. It's the same thing for 37, 38, and 39. If you look at the bottom of that where the description of the error, it's going to tell you to refer to, go to your troubleshooting shot and say transfer starts and runs continuously in the troubleshooting module, troubleshooting shot. When you look at that, it tells you what the probable causes are. It's going to say to you, okay, the probable cause could be the mech control board, the wiring to the motor, the central control computer, the mech board, or the wiring from the central control computer to the mech board. I'm telling you that the problem is 50% of the time, it's not in the boards, it's in the harness. Okay, there's been a number, probably I've had like four or five cases in the last 30 days where this has been the problem. And I've been, gotten a lot of emails now from different customers all around the world that want to know how to fix it. So we're going to show you how to fix it today. The process we're going to do today is going to fix 75% of the bad cables, 75%. So you can use this process not just for fixing this cable, but doing all the Molex plugs in your record jukebox and also your CD jukebox. Okay, so we're gonna give you the cure. This is how you fix it. So right now, okay, we're gonna be using this contact cleaner. And I'm gonna tell you, I've been using this for 20 years. Okay, and this is a CRC product, okay. It's a contact cleaner and protectant, and it deoxidizes. It removes grease, dirt, and oxidization. It protects metal, it protects against corrosion. Okay, and on the can, you got a number here, 03140. 
Okay, so, but that's just on the can. That's not the order number. So I'm going to show you how to order this product right now, okay? So the, you purchase this product from M, like Mary, S like Sam, C like Charlie, M, S, C, Industrial Supply, okay? Their phone number is 1-800-645-7270. You can order this online from SS. MSC Industrial Supply. They have three or four different types of contact cleaner like this. So the here's the part number. Are you ready? Zero two nine eight three zero six two. And I'm going to repeat it back. The part number on the MSC Industrial Supply website, which their website is is www.mscdirect.com. The part number to order this is zero two nine eight three zero six two this is a 10 ounce can this should last you five six seven eight years and it goes for around twenty dollars and you don't have to be a um you, you don't have to have a business to order this anyone can order this okay any homeowner or whatever can order this online okay but there are some precautions to use when using a contact cleaner like this first of all you can't use it over open flame it's an aerosol and i'm sure there's some petroleum products within the within the unit it's very quick drying this will dry within five minutes okay so you don't want to use it when the power is on the jukebox you want to shut the power off you want to make sure the power is totally off unplug the jukebox before you use it okay and that's what you got to do if not you could you could there is a chance that you could cause a fire so you do not want to have the jukebox plugged in or any power going to it okay because again aerosols will will ignite if you spray near flame or any kind of electrical current sometimes so for precautions shut the power totally off okay i'm i'm used to getting contact cleaning on my fingers and stuff so i'm not it's not bad for me i mean i always just wash my hands when i'm done and it doesn't have any effect on my skin but i'm going to show you a way if you feel like your skin's you want to protect yourself a little bit these are little vinyl gloves you buy at the drugs you buy it like a walmart or any place in in the uh, pharmacy department or medical supply department these are vinyl gloves. So I'm going to put one on just today just to show you that, again, this is just a little more precaution. The, the, the contact cleaner doesn't hurt my skin. I use it all the time, and I just wash my hands. But for today, I'm just going to put this on to show you you can protect yourself if you're, if you're worried or, or fearful of it. So this is the harness in question. This goes from the mech control to the CCC. Okay? It runs, it plugs into the bottom of the mech control, runs underneath, and has these plastic connectors um, has these little plastic connectors holding it screwed into the wall that holds it in place again runs underneath the jukebox up the back wall up to the central control computer all right so now I'm going to show you how we do it okay we're going to sit down here and I'm going to do it I'm going to do it over a waste basket okay you see that the can has this little funnel here this little straight tube um, like a chute that directs the, directs the spray, okay? I'm just going to spray it into the back of the plug, okay? And I'm going to do it like this. That's all you got to do. It's all done. This will dry in about five minutes. Then you stick it up for a little bit. You could take a, like a rag. You got like a rag or something and just pat it dry a little bit. And that's it. Go to the other side. Stick it up like this, hold it in place. That's it. You don't have to do it for five minutes. You just do it for about 20 seconds, 10, 15 seconds, and that's it. Shake it off, tip it up a little bit, put a rag or something under it to catch anything that drips down. Again, this is very fast drying. And, and normally you let this sit for like 10 minutes before you would plug it in. Okay, I'm going to leave this one for now. We're going to go over to a jukebox. I'm going to show you how to do it at the jukebox. Let's say you didn't want to take out the cable. You want to do it right at the jukebox. You can. You don't have to remove the cables. But you just got to be careful that you don't spray your jukebox. So you have either like an old t-shirt, an old rag, something underneath the spray so you don't get it on the jukebox. Okay? So we're going to go over to one now. This is a record jukebox. Um, you see the power is on going to it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the power totally off. This is the power cord coming from the back. The voltage is totally off. Okay, this is number one. You never want to spray an aerosol 
on flames or around electrical current while it's on. Okay, I'm going to remove the mech control board for this one underneath here, and I'm going to do the bottom plug. Now you can do the other plugs too, but I'm just going to do the mech. I'm just going to do this one plug today. This is the highest we're talking about. I'm going to put a rag underneath. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and now. I'm going to spray it. That's right. That's all you have to do. That took about four seconds, three seconds to do it. I'm going to like put a rag underneath, pat it dry a little bit. Okay, that's it. Let's set. I'm going to go up to the top now. This is the other end. I told you how it runs up against the wall, runs up the wall up to here. Okay, the, the power is totally off. I'm going to protect the records a little bit. I'm going to take it over here, put a rag underneath it. And again, I don't use the glove, I use most of my hands, but again, I'm using a little protective glove today. That's it. Okay, I'm going to pat it dry. Like that, and now I'm going to let it set, okay? Just let it set for a little bit, okay? We're going to pause now to give it 10 minutes to just, we're going to, we're going to pause now for about 10 minutes just to let these plugs dry out a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and plug them in and get the jukebox working. Okay, so we're going to pause now. Okay. Okay, uh, we've waited 10 minutes. Now we're going to go to the jukebox. And I've already plugged it back in to the, to the central control computer and to the mechanism control board. Now we're going to try it. Again, this process can be for all record jukeboxes, models R84 through R94, whether you get error codes or not. You love the way it makes me feel. Okay, we're just going to do a little review now, okay? This is how you troubleshoot error codes 37, 38, and 39, okay? And row record jukeboxes models R84 through R94. And again, the process we just did of cleaning the contacts within that cable from the mech control to the CCC harness is using CRC contact cleaner, okay? And it's bought by, you buy it through M, like Mary, S like Sam, C like Charlie, MSC Supply, Industrial Supply. All right, you can find them online. And again, the product part number that you order from them is 0298302. Okay, now as we're going to just, we're going to, we're going to get ready to close, I want to pass some information out to you. I'm asking for your support and help now that I want to hear from you. I'm giving you a lot of information. I'm giving you new techniques, how to repair and fix your jukebox. I want to get your feedback, your responses. So I'm asking you to email me when you do have one of these issues. And if you try this process and it fixes it, will you let me know? Will you just give me a little email or a quick call and say, hey, Bruce, I was getting the error codes. It was really malfunctioning. And this, this is what, how it fixes the problem. Again, 50% of the time, it's in that harness. And that process we just did will fix 75 to 80% of that time. 10 or 20%, 10 or, 10 or 20% is you might have a damaged pin within the harness and that might need to be replaced or taken out and replaced. Again, we do sell these harnesses. So if you need a harness, we have them. And or if you need yours tested or repaired, we can do that for you too. It's been, my name is Bruce Wentworth and it's been my pleasure having you here on, with this session on You Can Do It. And we hope you join us again for future sessions of You Can Do It. Thank you, goodbye.